Boy Who Lost His Face by Louis Sacker, Chapter 9. What was I supposed to do? David was still thinking. Two and a half hours later, as he changed to his gym clothes, punch Leslie Gilroy in the face? What'd they expect? I'm not going to say no, I'm not ugly. That would have been worse. Roger was in David's PE class. David was glad that Roger's locker was on the other side of the locker room. At least he could get dressed in peace. He headed out to the soccer field. He was good at soccer. He was a pretty fast runner. But more than that, he had quick feet. As the team got ready, he discovered he was playing against Roger's team. Of course, Roger was playing goalie. Roger was too cool to play a position where he might get sweaty or mess up his hair. David ran up and down the field, kicking the ball, getting kicked in the shins, falling down and getting back up. Roger leaned on the side of the goal with his hands behind his head and watched. Whenever someone kicked the ball at the goal, Roger would casually block it, then pick it up and boot it all the way to the other end of the field. Just one shot, hoped David as he wiped the sweat from his face. One clear shot to kick a goal past him, or maybe just kick it right at him as hard as he could, right into the middle of Roger Delbrook's smug face. The ball bounced free and David ran after it. He stopped it with the side of his foot. Someone charged him. David tried to dribble around, but his legs collided and they both fell on the ground. The ball rolled harmlessly toward the goal. Roger picked it up and booted it high over David's head. David pulled himself back to his feet. He leaned over, put his hands on his knees, and took a deep breath. There was a blocked kick and the ball was rolling toward the sidelines. He ran after it and managed to save it with the heel of his foot just before it went foul. Then turning around, he saw there was no one between him and the goal, except Roger. He dribbled down the field, trying to go as fast as he could without losing control of the ball. People were closing in from all sides. He just needed to get a little closer. He tapped the ball too hard, knocking it too far out of too far out in front of him, too close to Roger. Roger came after the ball. David continued to charge, even though he knew Roger would get to it first. Roger suddenly stopped. David thought he saw a look of panic in Roger's face. As he backed up to defend the goal, Roger was still backing up with arms outstretched as David reached the ball. He smiled and kicked as hard as he could. He wasn't even close. The ball soared high over the goal and rolled all the way to where the girls were playing volleyball. All traces of panic were now gone from Roger's face. Go get the ball, butthead, he said scornfully. David chased after it. He was the one who kicked it. He was the closest to it except for Roger, who obviously wasn't going to get it. He jogged to the volleyball court. He stopped. Miss Williams was holding the soccer ball. She had freckles on her arms and legs, too. Up till now, he hadn't even known she was in his P.E. class. He stared at her with his mouth open and sweat dripping down his face. Besides her blue shorts and white button-down shirt, she wore a green headband and red high-top sneakers. She underhanded the soccer ball to him. Thanks, he said. You're welcome, Mr. Ballinger. Her green eyes sparkled as she smiled at him. He returned. <sighs> Excuse me, to the soccer game, elated. And that is the end of chapter nine.